my viewers today we will discuss what is a nelson cell the nelson cell is used for the manufacture of chlorine gas hydrogen gas and sodium hydroxide the main purpose of the cell is uh, the production of chlorine gas but we also get the other two products on the side of the main reaction the electrolysis of sodium chloride solution is actually done to produce these three useful substances for the manufacture of chlorine a concentrated solution of sodium chloride is used which is called brine solution the brine is actually electrolyzed to get our desired product which is chlorine gas let's see how this nelson cell actually works and uh, before uh, proceeding forward let me tell you there are three methods by which we can bring about the electrolysis of sodium chloride to produce caustic soda or sodium hydroxide chlorine gas and hydrogen gas one of them is membrane cell that i will discuss and the other one is diaphragm cell again this would be discussed and the third one is mercury cell <coughs> Uh, we will discuss the one and two only as I have told you but we want to discuss mercury cell because um, it uh, is uh, an it is obsolete now and is no more in practice because of some uh, mercury elements because of some mercury ions getting uh, into the environment which of course we know that it is a heavy metal and um, uh, is hazardous let's proceed to see how membrane cell and diaphragm cell actually works here you can see the diagram of a diaphragm cell this is the anode which is made of graphite this is the cathode which is uh, made up of steel uh, this is the solution which is um, sodium chloride solution we call it brine uh, this is uh, the asbestos diaphragm asbestos diaphragm allows sodium ions to pass from this uh, compartment to this compartment and uh, how this flow of sodium ion actually occurs because we actually uh, allow liquid to flow from from left side to the right side so this flow of liquid from one side to other side allows sodium ions to pass from one compartment to other compartment and not vice versa in this way we would get much of the sodium hydroxide in this compartment let's see how it actually works we see chloride ions bears negative charge so they would naturally be attracted towards anode this is the anode you can see positive <coughs> wire over here and when these chloride ions would be released on anode they would release their electrons and gets converted into chlorine gas which would, which would be released from here let's see two chloride ions attracted towards anode and they would subsequently release hydrogen gas this is the hydrogen gas released since hydrogen gas is released so two of the electrons would be left over uh, this anode these two electrons would then pass through the battery and would come over here on cathode let's see that's how these electron would pass from here towards this side now these two electrons uh, are waiting to be picked up by hydrogen ions which are there in this solution these hydrogen ions actually come from water we know that water is dissociated to some extent so these um, hydrogen ions uh, are actually from water and these hydroxyl ions too are from water some water is dissociated so these hydrogen ions would move to pick up these electrons let's see here we go these two hydrogen ions would pick up two electrons and gets converted into hydrogen gas and here we go hydrogen gas is released now we see hydrogen ions are being being uh, uh, hydrogen ions are going to pick up electron and gets released as hydrogen gas so we would be left with hydroxyl ion the solution would become concentrated in hydroxyl ion what happens now these sodium ions actually move from this left side through asbestos diaphragm towards right side and um, 
gets combined with hydroxyl ion to form sodium hydroxide. Here we go. These hydroxyl ion being picked up by sodium ion, we would get sodium hydroxide. This is sodium hydroxide. This is actually the equation in which sodium hydroxide is from sodium plus OH negative and we would get sodium hydroxide. So what happens on this electrode <coughs> is given in this equation. At anode, two chloride ions would get converted into chlorine gas plus two electrons released. These electrons would come from here to here. And what happens on, an, on cathode? Two hydroxyl ions would get two electrons and gets converted into hydrogen gas. This is the diaphragm cell. <coughs> Uh, one of uh, one of the drawback of this cell is this is actually a very good cell I should say, but there is a little bit um, problem with this cell, and this is that some of the sodium hydroxide may pass from this uh, cathode compartment into anode compartment. So we would get sodium hydroxide in both compartments. We want it to be in one compartment. <clears throat> anyway. We can do that by another cell which is called membrane cell. However, it must be noted that much of the sodium hydroxide would be found in a cathode compartment in this compartment. Okay. So this is the membrane cell. This is the membrane cell. Uh, it's uh, anode is made up of titanium, while cathode may be that of nickel or steel. And same reactions proceed over here, but this membrane, which is um, uh, which is made up of some polymer material, and this polymer polymeric material is a wonderful material because it partially allows sodium ions to pass from this side to the other side into the cathode compartment, but it won't allow hydroxyl ion to pass from this side to other side, or any other substance won't be able to pass from this side to other side. Let's see what happens actually. The reactions are the same as I've already <coughs> discussed. Two hydrogens pick, releasing their electrons, and these electrons would pass from one side to other sides. Hydrogen ions would pick up these two electrons, gets converted into hydrogen gas. Sodium ions would move from one side to the other side. They would pick up hydroxyl ion and gets converted into sodium hydroxide. Now <coughs> Uh, um, the main advantage of this membrane cell is we would get much of sodium hydroxide or, all, or I should say almost all of the sodium hydroxide in this compartment which would be <coughs> picked up and uh, later on solution would be evaporated to get sodium hydroxide. So this is how actually these two cell works. Thanks for watching. If uh, you have uh, understood what actually I try to convey to you please uh, do subscribe my videos share my videos with your friends and if you have problems in chemistry do uh, comment in comment section so that I could uh, make more videos on those problems